So I just saw this supposedly smart guy, MooGovDot, repeat the team brain myth. I'm gonna try to play it here so you can see for yourself. So today, a 15 year old, emotional, without a fully developed prefrontal cortex to make the right decisions yet. This is science, huh? we, we developed our prefrontal cortex fully in, at age 25 or so. With all of that, limbic system, emotion, and passion. So you can see that he believes in this. He believes that under the age of 25, then you don't have the prefrontal cortex to make the right decisions. <laughs> Let's unpack what it means. Uh, and ignore the brain science for a while, and that happens to be wrong too. But let's just ph philosophize for what it means to make the wrong decisions and the wrong decisions, and to say that a group of people do not make the right decisions. In this case, it's applied to everyone under 25. You, when you define them as unable to make the right decisions, that is an incredibly prejudicial statement. It presumes that you know what's best for them and they are deficient, retarded people. It doesn't match actual behavior, it's just the prejudice that you apply to them. You apply this uh, belief that you think is so scientific, but it's actually just prejudice. <laughs> you, you use that prejudice to dismiss everything they are as people because of this supposed invisible handicap inside their heads. I've covered many times why this handicap is nonsense. It doesn't exist. But let's just think about how stupid it is to think that such a handicap exists on the basis of a different difference in the brain. So let's say somebody has a stroke and you lose a skill, say you can't talk anymore or walk or whatever. And then you train yourself back uh, to be able to do this again by using a different part of the brain than the damaged one. Now imagine if somebody came along and said, no, you don't make the right decisions. You don't actually know how to speak or talk or walk or whatever it was. You don't actually know this because you don't use the appropriate part of the brain and that is what counts. This handicap that the, I am convinced you have this handicap inside your head and therefore you don't count as a person. You are inferior. That's the level of prejudice we're talking about. Everyone can see it would be inappropriate to tell somebody who had a stroke and then came back and learned the same skill that was damaged. Everyone can understand you have to judge them by the actual execution of that skill and not by which part of the brain they're using. Except when it comes to young people. Then we have this prejudice, and it's completely socially accepted to have this prejudice. I mean, nobody stops to wonder, okay, maybe there's a difference in the brain, but maybe the same function is implemented in different ways. Maybe it's irrelevant what part of the brain they're using, as long as they're behaving normally. <laughs> then what right do you have to claim they don't make the right decisions. And if you're going to claim that, then you're being a prejudicial, judgmental jerk. But there's a blind spot 
for being this prejudiced person when it comes to young people. That's the, <laughs> the exception to the tolerance that has rightly been instilled against prejudice like uh, racism and sexism. That's not acceptable anymore, but we can do it for young people. We can claim there's an invisible handicap inside their heads. And you have now this uh, famous, supposedly smart guy repeating that myth. Just think about how crazy that is. And he should be shamed for that, he really should. Now imagine if we were to take this teen brain myth seriously. If society actually took that seriously, they would have a 25 year limit on who can, could be the bodyguards of the most important people. Somebody like the Swiss guard could not have recruited 18 year olds like they do now. And the secret service, right now they have a 21 year old limit. Um, that is unusually high for this type of position, but it's not 25, so even they don't believe it. They don't believe that people under 25 are too physically retarded to know how to make the right decisions and be trustworthy. It's not a belief that this culture actually has when it matters. It's just the belief we have when it's convenient to be prejudiced because you want to wield this power over the young people and the people who associate with them. When it's convenient, then it's okay to be prejudiced and repeat this myth.